Welcome to this horror special of TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe because the scares have just begun. So this was 2017, the year when my parents were pressuring me to get married. And I wasn't kind of I don't know, I mean uh, I'd gone to see a few girls and it was it arranged marriage. and it was all looking okay but something prevented me from taking the next step so my parents were very especially my mother you know how moms are my mother was very worried why is he like this why is he like this so she went to an astrologer and she met him she was convinced that he is a good astrologer in my village only and i was working here in bombay and i was actually planning to quit my job because i got my first film at that time which was again a horror film okay mm-hmm. it's all interconnected you'll see how so the i quit my job and i was going to tell my mom that hey mom i quit my job because i got a film it's with a big director which again was my when i was a kid i wanted to work with him okay because I, that was the first movie i saw it's his movie that i saw which was again a supernatural movie are you comfortable talking about yeah which movie you know it's yodha okay by sangeet shivan so he's a malayalam filmmaker he's done hindi films kya cool hai hum and and uh, apna sapna mani one those are the hindi films that he, he did but the malayalam film which remains his masterpiece it's yodha and as a kid that was the first film my parents uh, took me to watch so i was 3 years old or something 92 year before you were born and i don't remember anything but that was what my mother tells me that this was the first film you saw in a theater So, but then I watched the film later whenever it came on TV or something. But I always wanted this thing. I was like, I always felt close to him, close to him. But eventually, I end, I ended up working with him. I don't know how. Even he speaks about that. Hari, I don't know how this destiny is connected. There was no way that I would have worked with him, but it happened. Even my Hindi debut was with him, Brahm. That was also directed by him. So, anyway, coming back to uh, this astrology thing. So I had uh, quit my job. I was coming back to Kerala, and I was like, uh, until then, wherever I went, I mean, for seeing the girls and all, for alliance and all, I was a corporate guy. I was working with the IT and all uh, this thing. Now I was in a different field. I was stepping. I was. I took that detour from that normal, convenient life. This was a detour that I was taking, probably to fulfill that destiny. I don't know. A lot of uncertainties were there at that time. I went to Kerala and I was like, I told my mom, I quit my job. I got my first film. I'm working on the screenplay, and I'll be in. And the place where the shooting was happening was called Hari Pad. So my mother was all freaked out. She was like, Are you crazy? You quit quit your job? Why would you do that? I mean, this that this that. You could have continued writing, you know, with the job. I said no. I want I want to make films. You know, I'm getting to work with my role model. This is a chance of my lifetime. She was pretty worried, so that's how she went to this astrologer. So now there were two problems: you have quit your job and the marriage thing. So this astrologer, he said a lot of things, and she was very convinced that he had this ability to tell the, or at least grab the truths. She called me, and then I told her, told her, don't tell him my real name because if he makes a search by at that time, I had only written two books. So even despite of that, if you make a search, you will get all the information at least from social media, mm-hmm. right? I told him. I told her, don't tell him my name. I don't want him to know anything about me. Let him guess. I was a skeptic. I went there. He didn't know my name. He just had my kundali. And he started. Uh, so in Kerala, we have these shells, conch shells that you kind of put it on a small chart, and you know. he meditated and then he started talking about me and he said this is your path okay and i had written only two books t- till then first book was not a horror second book was horror he said something your life will be revolving around ghosts undead the other realm this is what he said occult I mean everything related to undead because that's your destiny 
and then he started saying that your pitrus your uh, your ancestors they were involved in uh, they're all pandits so some of them were tantrics so uh, some of them were mantravadis none of them from kerala so my those ancestors which my grandfather and all they they are from kerala and they were all like normal working people but before that in the 19th century 18th century that time ke jo ancestors those ancestors they were into all these worships and exorcisms and all this and he started telling me all those things that you will be an exorcist or something like that i said i can't be an exorcist if not an exorcist your profession will be related to something like that maybe the ghosts or something and then i told him i wrote a book first book it had an element second book was a horror book the first film that came to me it was not my story it was somebody else's story the director wanted me to develop the screenplay apparently it happened to be a, or coincidentally it happened to be a horror story and there was another one which was coming to me which was also a horror horror uh, horror film so then i started feeling there is some kind of a truth in what he's saying and then i started opening up and he said something whatever you do no matter what you write or what you make as a filmmaker it will always be about ghosts and you won't believe whatever i've done till now it's all it has been about ghosts it's not like an algorithm which is working somewhere right see if you're searching or, or, about ghosts or is it again if that's if there's an algorithm it's outside our sensory perception which which again brings me to that sim- uh, simulation theory that we are all living in a simulation right which is kind of connecting people like the director and me there was no connection at all but we we are connected and then there were a lot of uh, unimaginable things which he told me like uh, my ancestors like my great great grandfather he used to worship in a temple in karnataka in south canada and uh, he once got so angry and upset that he uh, threw something in uh, some deity or something in a pond behind the uh, temple so you must go and uh, worship in that temple and ask for forgiveness then those who it's believed that uh, the last four generations the pitrus they can still haunt you while you are alive so once you you are dead it will be you then the uh, previous generation your dad your granddad your great granddad correct or mom mm, usually you believe it in a patriarchal this thing but matrus are also there so when you say pitru dosh it's patriarchal it's mm, patriarchal wow okay. but again i'm not the expert here it's better to consult someone who knows it better uh this is my understanding so whatever i'm saying it's my understanding i still have got a lot to understand um so he told me all these things so your great great grandfather did something you have to go back so i started doing a research we don't use surname in surnames in kerala right it's k hari kumar we use our father's initials so that this caste system is out of question right but then the patriarchy is there because k is my father's name anyway uh i found out that my uh, family name so we are come from a community of shivalli brahmins shivalli brahmins were brahmins who migrated from uh, northern india to karnataka like thousands of years ago so it was a family of uh, 500 people who resided there and each family had a house and this house name is associated and it's carried on from there mm. so i tried to ask my uncles and uncles grandfathers whoever whoever was alive and very old enough to know all these details <laughs> So they told me that your name is Sitilaya. Sitilaya means niche ke ghar wala. So it's like hill ke niche agar koi ghar hai to Sitilaya. Okay, fine. I'll look for Sitilayas. I started googling around everywhere and finally found one guy on Facebook with the last name Sitilaya. And I tried contacting him and everything, but and he looked very much like one of my chachas. So there was some genetic connection for sure. and then again i started asking 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 finally found out that there was a temple in uh, suratkal suratkal is in uh, between Mang- mangalore and udupi and it's a shiva temple and this is exactly what uh, uh, that astrologer told me he, he didn't say shiva temple or something he said there's a temple on the top of a hill and behind the, behind that uh, temple there's there's a pond where this idol could be lying so you just have to ask for forgiveness and after finding out everything i went there so there was this shiva temple on top of a hill and shiva is not the deity that we were worshiping we were vaishnavites so it was very strange but then again 
uh i went there i went inside and uh, uh the pandit was doing some uh, mantras and also i couldn't talk to him but i then i just worshiped and then went to the back side because i wanted to see if there's a pond and when i looked on the back side there was nothing there was just a field and just one small tank kind of a structure where you know people are taking water and all so i are yeah this was all there's nothing here there's no pond so when i came back then by the time the priest was free so my parents were also there my father started talking to the priest and it turned out that he was related to my father the priest the priest his uh, father's father was my grandfather's cousin's cousin or something like that so it was a there was a patrilineal uh, patriarchal connection mm. and here we started asking and uh, so he had heard the story that my great grandfather used to be a priest there and uh, he had some anger issues and all those things and one day he got so angry that he threw some keys or something uh, we don't know whether it's in pond or anything but he threw the keys and he left that place and then he left for kerala then after that nobody heard from him for a long time this was validated this much now came the question of the pond where is the pond so there the pond used to be there but then we covered up now there is a small tank out there uh, instead of the pond so now i mean again it could be coincidence how can an astrologer sitting there talk about this maybe he has heard about this story from his ancestors you know it's a back in the day you know the communities were very small so maybe he must have heard it from his grandfather that there is a guy who migrated from suratkal to here and he settled here maybe that's how he got the story and because he made some connection that you know i am also from that place so it could be the same lineage so that could be the rational explanation but otherwise it's very very coincidence mm. and i prayed there and this astrologer also told me one more thing that uh, so my the question my mother was asking was why is not is he not getting married okay and he has quit his job iski to mati bhrasht ho gayi hai that kind of a mood that that was a mood she was in and he said no no you go there you worship there everything will be fine and you will find your uh, he'll find his uh, wife in that stretch of land and my wife is literally 15 kilometers from you know her ancestral place the house that i told you earlier about that house is like 15 16 kilometers from there and there was no i mean there was no way that we were going to marry someone from karnataka i mean we were all looking for girls from kerala mm mm and that happened through shaadi.com branding here but uh, <laughs> algorithms i don't know yeah anupam mittal yeah <laughs> so a lot of things are there which cannot be explained like all these things about your family lineage and you know your charts etc pointing in a direction it is and i really want to learn about that i have relatives who are into uh, exorcism and all those things not exorcism but at least in tantra. that tantra and all but again re- your daily life you know where you want to you're fighting to earn your living it doesn't permit you to go into that particular line yeah. but if i get a chance i definitely want to know if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to trs clips and check out this horror playlist for even more videos